Josh from Netmark. I'm here to show you a quick trick you can do in Google AdWords with Quality Score. So I have a sample campaign here. I've grabbed three anonymous keywords. I've got the clicks, the impressions, the click-through rate, the average cost per click, the total cost, the average position, the conversions, the cost per conversion, the conversion rate, and then I've added three columns that you don't typically see unless you select in the Google AdWords Customize Column section. I've got first page CPC, top of page CPC, max CPC, and then I've added my quality score column as well. Okay, from here, I'm able to determine the ad rank necessary to rank in position 3.63 or position 3.05 or position 2.59 and here's how you do that. Take your quality score, multiply it by your average cost per click and that tells you the ad rank necessary for that position. And of course Google ranks their ads according to ad rank so the one with the highest ad rank is up at the top, the ad with the second highest ad rank is second third highest ad rank, third, and so on and so forth. The next thing we want to figure out is the ad rank required to be at the top of the page. And Google gives you enough information that you should be able to figure that out. So if you look here, we have a top of page CPC estimate given to you by Google. This is specific to you based off of your quality score. So if you want to be at the top of the first page for this particular keyword, we're going to have to pay $15.60 or for this keyword, $3.25. Well, let's do the same thing that we did the first time. Let's take the quality score, multiply it by the top page estimate, and we get 9360. I'm gonna drag that down, and we see the ad rank required to be at the top of page one for all three of my keywords. And I can compare that to my current ad rank. Okay, the last thing we want to do on this particular page is figure out the ad rank that's required to be on page one. Not at the top, not at the bottom, just required to be on the front page. And we have enough information that we should be able to do that. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take the estimate. So this is the first page CPC estimate. I'm going to take that and I'm going to multiply it by my quality score. And then I'm going to go ahead and drag it down. Okay, now I've got three new columns of information. It's the ad rank required to be at the top of page one, to be on the front page, and the current ad rank to rank where I'm currently ranking. Stay tuned for the next video. There's a lot of really neat things we can do with this information.